Welcome to Speaking of D. I'm D! For those of you who haven't seen this before, I'm D! Three men from New York were arrested over the weekend when they accidentally sent a text message to a drug task force agent to set up a drug deal. I'm not exactly sure how they got the phone number, but from the police report, apparently they were sending a text to this guy who they didn't really know, and they were supposed to set up a deal for buying some drugs. I have no clue what kind. So anyways, the text inadvertently went to this drug task force agent. They were arrested when the task force agent set up the deal with them that they were supposed to meet in some parking lot somewhere to make this actual deal. When the three guys showed up, they were arrested immediately. They're being charged with criminal possession of illegal substances. You know, I'm not really gonna lie, I kinda feel bad for these guys. Don't get me wrong, I don't feel bad that they're arrested at all. I'm all for getting the drugs off the street. But I feel bad that they're actually that stupid. Wouldn't you think that after they got this phone number and they entered into their cell phone, they would check to make sure that the number on the paper matched the number in the phone? It's really not that difficult. Accidental dials happen all the time. Maybe they did realize that this number didn't match what was on their paper, but hey, whoever was on the other end was obviously interested in buying and whatever they had. I can only imagine what must have happened. Hmm. Close enough. Hey man, I got the stuff. Sent. What's this? Text message. Hmm. Hey man, I got the stuff. Something tells me this is not for me. I think I'm gonna make a bust today. Yeah man. I'm ready for it. Just let me know when to meet ya. This fool. Hey, let's make a deal. Wait a second. These numbers don't match at all. Oh well, this guy's interested. Who cares? I'm sure this drug agent was actually having a field day with this guy. How often is it that something you're searching for lands right in your lap? This is just way too funny. I really still can't believe that somebody would be this dumb that they're gonna send a text message to make a drug deal. I mean, I really don't know how the whole drug trade thing works, but I imagine that you kind of need to see who you're talking to and able to sell it. Otherwise, you might run into a drug agent. How do they know that the guy on the other end, even if they got the number right, wasn't actually a drug agent? I don't know where they got this number from. If they got it from some random person on the side of the street who said, hey, this person might be interested, that's even dumber than we thought it was going to be. Oh well, nobody said you actually had to be smart to be a drug dealer anyways, so I guess that they just kind of fit in the deck and that's just the way they are. These drug dealers are getting crafty and trying to do everything high tech, but they don't realize the risks that are involved. Not that I really want to help them out or anything, but, you know, it's... It's stupid. Why are you going to do something like this? Lesson of the day. If you're going to be a telemarketing drug dealer, make sure you set up a proper do not call list.